How to root an Android device by patching the boot or recovery image manually and without having to flash TWRP or a custom recovery. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can root your Android device by patching either the boot image or the recovery image manually. Those of you who do have a custom recovery, we do have a separate video showing you how to root your device using a custom recovery but this method is for those of you who do not have a custom recovery available. All the links, all the applications, whatever we are using in this video are linked in the description of this video. Now, what are the prerequisites? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. And then since you do not have a custom recovery available, you will need to have access to either a computer with your ADB and fast boot drivers installed. Or if you do not have access to a computer, then you can use another phone. But in that case, you will need a type C cable and a USB OTG adapter as well. So how do you do it using or how do you execute fast boot commands using another Android device? We do have a separate video for that as well, which can be found in the description of this video. So this here is the home page of Magisk on GitHub. If you scroll down, you will see the downloads section and download the latest stable. So this here is Magisk version 23.0. Once you select it, it might take you to this releases page. Here in select assets and select the APK file. Once I select the APK, it is going to ask me, do you want to download it? And then it will download it. Now, once we have downloaded the Magisk APK, we do need to install it. I am using FX file manager. You can use any file manager application which will let you install APKs. So we can go into the home page of FX file manager, go into main storage, go into download. Why? Because this is where the APK was downloaded. And the next thing we need to do is install this APK. Now, once the application has installed successfully, we are going to open it. We can say hide over here and here is some super important information. So as you can see right now, Magisk section. So top here is the Magisk section says installed is NA. This means the device is not rooted. Installing the Magisk APK from inside Android is not going to root your device. So app here is 23.0, but Magisk is not applicable. The important thing to note over here is RAM disk is yes. So what does it say about ram disk being yes let me bring in the other device over here so that it is easier to switch between them so installation instructions and here it is so if ram disk info says yes this means that we have to patch the boot partition if it says no over here then you have to patch the recovery partition now where do you get these boot and recovery from you get them from the fast boot rom for your device where do you get the fast boot rom for your device from google it search on xda developers telegram channels those are the only places. The links which I know about for fast boot ROMs for different OEMs will be mentioned in the pinned comment on this video. So again, make sure you do read the pinned comment and you do need to unzip that file and get either the boot image or the recovery image. So in this case, for this specific device over here, since RAM disk is yes, we need the boot image. So get the fast boot ROM and unzip it you will have something called boot.img so if i go into the fx file manager here it is i already have this file on my device you do need the file on your device either it will be boot.img or it will be recovery.img based on your device now super important super critical because Xiaomi is super special. There are certain cases in which it will say RAM disk as no for Xiaomi devices, but you would still need to patch the boot image. Yes, because Xiaomi is unique, different from rest of the world. If RAM disk is no on most Xiaomi devices, you will have to patch the boot image irrespective of the fact whether RAM disk is 
yes or no how do you find it out it's all hidden trial you just have to try it out because again xiaomi is super special another thing i would like to mention is if you're patching your recovery image then there is a special section for recovery as in magisk in recovery on the github page for magisk so you will have to boot into recovery every time you want to use magisk or you want a rooted system this is again a limitation because you are patching the recovery image so feel free to read this and another super important thing this tutorial is not applicable for samsung devices because there is some special instructions about samsung and i do not have a samsung device to show you how to do it on a samsung device i do have xiaomi devices and those are the ones which i am using in this video the next thing we need to do is we need to patch our boot image or if you have to patch the recovery image then you're going to patch that so tap on this install besides the magisk not beside the app but besides magisk you have install select this and herein you need to select the option of select and patch a file this is going to open our file explorer application herein if you are say on android 10 then you have to click on the three dot menu on the top right and say show internal storage or something like that on android 11 you do not get that option and once you enable show internal storage three bar menu on the top left and here in select your devices name which might be anything in my case it is showing as m2012 and this here is our internal storage now you need to navigate to the path where you have placed your boot image or recovery image so in my case again i have placed it in the download folder so select this and select the boot.img file and then say let's go so at this point it is going to patch the boot image with magisk and once that is done it will tell us where it has placed it so storage emulated download magisk patched and some numbers and a random character or a random word it says all done so we can go to our home screen now if i go back into fx file manager and by default i am in the download folder because the application was not killed in the background here and you will notice this so this is the file which is our patched image file which is the one which you have to flash either as boot or as recovery based on your device and of course to flash it you do need to boot into fast boot mode but before that we do need to transfer this to our computer so let me go ahead and connect my device to the computer and transfer the file so i have transferred the file to the computer and at this point we can boot into fast boot mode so again for xiaomi devices turn off your device and once the device is turned off press and hold power and volume down together till you see the fast boot logo so there it is we are in fast boot mode and the usb cable was still connected to the computer the process of booting into fast boot mode might differ from device to device and oem to oem so google is your best friend over here to figure out how to boot into fast boot mode so here it is we are on the computer and as you can see i do have the magisk patched image file and i also have platform tools now what is this platform tools this is your adb and fast boot and of course you do need to have the fast boot drivers installed they can be found in the description of this video download the file unzip it execute as admin reboot your computer and you should be good to go so this adb and fast boot has been downloaded from official android developers website which is again linked in the description and that is where i recommend you download the latest adb and fast boot of course this is an archive file so we do need to unarchive or unzip it i am using winrar you can use any software which you want to so just select the file right click and say extract here this is going to extract the contents and once the file has been extracted successfully if i go inside this folder you will notice i do have adb over here and the next thing super important fast boot so now we need to boot into fast boot mode so select the address bar make sure everything is highlighted type in cmd and then press the enter key this is going to open the command prompt inside this specific folder 
Next thing, we need to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not. So, fast boot space devices is the command. And once you have entered the command, you do need to press the enter key and do not make any typos like me. So, fast boot space devices, press the enter key. There it is, you can see my device is being detected in fast boot mode next thing we need to do is we need to flash this image so again if you are flashing or if you patched the boot then you're going to flash the boot if you patched recovery then you have to flash the recovery in my case i have patched the boot partition so the command for that is fast boot space flash boot because we patched the boot image if you patched recovery then instead of boot you will enter recovery then a space and then we need the patched file so how do you get the patched file well go back to the main folder where you had platform tools and you pasted this magic patched image file open your command prompt and all you need to do is easy just select this drag and drop this into your command prompt window and as you can see it was populated there successfully so select it drag and drop same you can do with your recovery image file as well and once that is done all you need to do is press the enter key and there it is you can see it is sending the boot image do note this POCO F3 over here is a dynamic AB device which is why it is sending it to the A slot which is the current slot right now and it was sent successfully. The next thing as easy as doing fast boot reboot and then press the enter key at this point the phone is going to reboot as you can see it rebooted and feel free to disconnect this from the computer now because we do not need the computer anymore and there it is we have successfully booted into miui now make sure you do have an active internet connection while you're doing all of this and now if i open the magisk app you will notice that i should have the device rooted it is taking some time for the application to load but here it is magisk installed version 23.0 previously when the device was not rooted this here was showing as not applicable the app is still the same which is your 23.0 and another thing if i go into settings i now have the option of magisk hide i also have this floating bar from wherein i can install the different modules and all those things so we have successfully rooted our POCO F3 without having to go through the process of flashing it from TWRP recovery. Now, a super important thing is what happens if you get into a boot loop. In that case, you have to flash back your stock file. So let us go into download and here it is. This is the stock file. Follow the same process and instead of dragging and dropping the patched file, drag and drop the stock file from fast boot mode and then reboot your device and you should be good to go that is you should boot back into your operating system and device will of course not be rooted but you won't have to perform a factory reset and there it is peeps that is how you root your android device without twrp recovery by manually patching either the boot image or the recovery image and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you